Oh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video today. Oh, I accidentally deleted the um, first video of this uh, story one, and um, yeah, let's just like record it again. So, yeah, let's just yeah, let's just yeah. Alright guys, let's start now. Alright, let's still start with that. Okay, I'm gonna have to go on the road. Okay, I'm gonna have four minutes. Because I was already not that same. I was 16 in my junior year of high school. I had nine periods in the school day. Fifth period was lunch, and straight from there was my astronomy class. My astronomy class was actually held in one of the two basement classrooms of the school. My high school was big, there were three floors, and even that wasn't enough to accommodate all the classes offered. So the school built two classrooms in the basement. Creepy. It was honestly kind of creepy down there when no, nobody else was around. Yet. It used to be a janitorial area, however it was remodeled to better resemble a typical hallway. The only thing, there were no intercoms or loudspeakers down in the basement at that time. For that reason, no classes were held down there first period for the morning announcements. Everyone referred to this little section of the basement as the chamber, and everyone always tried to get classes down there just because it was air-conditioned and the classes were typically easier. Plus, it had its own bathroom down there. We had a quiz in astronomy that day. Usually, I was one of the first done just because I found the class easy. After I finished my quiz, I texted my friend who was in the other basement classroom to meet me in the bathroom because I was bored. He told me okay. I walked out of the classroom and down the small hallway to the bathroom. A few seconds later, the door opened and my friend JJ entered the bathroom. We were joking around for a while, until JJ checked his phone and said someone texted him saying the school was going on lockdown. We both looked at each other with the same grins. Neither of our teachers saw us leave the classrooms. That meant we had free range of the school while it was on lockdown. We agreed to sneak upstairs and look around the hallways just for the hell of it. The worst that would happen is that we'd explain how we couldn't hear the announcements in the basement classrooms. Upon opening the basement door to the main floor, we were surprised to find all the lights had been turned off. So the hallways were pretty much pitch black aside from the light pouring in from the doors in the lobby. This was legit because usually the lights were left on in the hallways during lockdowns. Something was going down and we didn't know if we were even comfortable walking around now. JJ stepped out a little further into the hallway and I followed suit. JJ then looked down the hall and said, who's that? I looked and emerging from the darkness was a man. At first, we couldn't tell if he was a teacher or not, but as he got closer, we realized this guy wasn't dressed at all like any staff member. He was dressed like a bum. Alright, let's go, I told JJ as we hurried back down to the basement. He surely saw us, whoever he was. We saw both classrooms had their doors shut and lights off, so to avoid making a scene, we decided to hide in the bathroom. I shut the light first thing and then we both went to hide in the corner stall. There was complete silence in the room, no ventilation, no heaters, nothing. Just the sound of me and JJ breathing, and an occasional drip from the sink. The door to the bathroom suddenly opened, and light from the hallway poured into the bathroom for a brief moment. The door shut and the bathroom was once again pitch black. Me and JJ tried our best to control our breathing. The room was so silent that we could hear somebody walking over to our side of the bathroom. The person stopped and started breathing really heavily, as if they were out of breath. Me and JJ were- Alright, alright. Okay guys, uh, I'm sorry that I was like talking, but, but yeah, um, but yeah. This is a you know video on the uh, next part of the um the one two story of of this video I will, I will um put it on um tomorrow or so so um yeah keep uh, I'll update y'all y'all for this so I see you guys in the next video peace. What's up guys? This is the other half of the um, video. You know, it's it's the one that is uh story one and still because I ended the other one because it 
they like creep me out a lot so so um so yeah let, let's just uh, get started so it's just um it's just yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and the person tried pressing mm -hmm. the stall door in that was when I whispered, go, go, to JJ. We both crawled under the side wall to the next stall over, and then the next stall, and then finally out to the other side of the bathroom. The person was now full on banging on the stall door. Me and JJ hopped up off the floor, opened the door, and as the light filled the room again, we saw the guy from upstairs in the corner. We pounded on the door to JJ's class. The teacher let us in within seconds. JJ explained everything as the teacher locked the door, mentioning a gun sticking out of the man's pocket. I was shocked to hear this because I didn't see a gun, but I went along with it anyway. Usually a bunch of high school students would be laughing their asses off at two students causing a scene like this, but I noticed all the kids sitting in the corner looked concerned. A sudden bang at the door made everyone jump and a couple of girls squeal out of fear. JJ, the teacher, and I could see the man standing at the door, looking through the window while trying the doorknob. After a few bangs on the door out of what seemed to be anger, he turned and walked down the hallway back to the stairs. We don't know how much longer the lockdown went on for, but for over an hour we sat in silence in the room, other than the teacher occasionally asking me and JJ questions in a very concerned tone, shaking his head after everything we would tell him. Eventually, somebody from upstairs called the teacher and he instructed all of us to single file, walk up the stairs, and out of the building, where we would be greeted by cops. Me and JJ did the best we could at describing the man to the cops and to the dean. One of the cops patted me on the back and we were sent off to go home. After this incident, the school installed cameras everywhere and ramped up the security budget. This incident never got media attention, so honestly, we never found out if police caught the guy. I'm convinced that man had no other intentions but to kill us then and there in that bathroom stall. Okay, okay, guys. This is the story one. I will, I will put the uh, story two up um tomorrow or um whenever I get I get out of school. Wait, I don't have school tomorrow. Yeah, uh, tomorrow on uh, sometime or something. I get I I, I update with, with you guys with, with this um video. So farewell and right now, mom. And subscribe to join the flame team. Subscribe. I said. I said. Subscribe. And like the video. And I hope you guys. Uh, I hope you guys um like this uh, video. I see you guys in the next video. Video. Peace.